I think this whole idea of by the dip, and when when we say by the dip, what I most of the time what I think we mean is people are holding cash on the sidelines. They're waiting for a crash, and then they're buying the dip. Now, can that be profitable? In some rare circumstances, yes. The problem with this philosophy is that most of the time, the the dip never happens, or if the dip happens, it dips to a price that's much higher than what you could have been buying at previously. So basically, big dips are rare. That's the, that's the punchline. Because big dips are rare, buying the dip isn't that profitable over the long run, right? If you get lucky and you happen to have a bunch of cash right when there's a dip and you buy it and then it recovers, you've done incredibly well. Anyone who did that in March 2020 should, if they bought then, is doing very well right now, even with our current crash, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind, but like, it's not a long-term profitable, you know, strategy, at least historically it, ha- it wouldn't have been because dips are rare and big dips right. are rare. So that's what you have to keep, keep in mind. You have mentioned that you are not a supporter of buy the dip uh, for the US uh, equities markets, uh, at least, because you keep cash for too long. And even when the dip comes, the price might still be higher than mm-hmm. if you have invested all of it right away. What about buying the dip in several other markets? Because, you know, there's always an opportunity somewhere for contrarian investors, like, for instance, Chinese or Vietnamese equities most recently. Yeah, so I haven't analyzed the data in every single one of these markets, so I can't rule it out. But I think the premise of investing almost negates the idea of buying the dip. And what what I mean by that? The reason you buy something is because you expect it's going to go up over time, right? So let's just assume we could get rid of volatility and we just got the average return every day. No volatility. Of course, this is a crazy thought experiment. But if that was true, you would just have a line that just increases very, very slowly over a very long period of time. So you would it would always be advantageous in that world to buy sooner, right? So in any market where that line isn't going up over time and maybe it's going down, then yes, buying the dip would be profitable in some sense, but you would actually like relatively it's not because you're buying the dip in something that's going down over time. So I don't you see, it's like the premise of the question. It just doesn't even make sense to me. Not n- nothing you did wrong, but people ask me this this question all the time, but it's like why would it be profitable to buy the dip in certain times when we know that like we want this thing to keep going up and if you expect it to go up why would you be waiting right it's it, it's just it's a weird thing so that's kind of my take on that 